The bionic ear unquestionably sounds like a term taken from a science fiction book. Fortunately, the bionic ear is a reality for those with hearing issues, and it's a fascinating truth that supports people's daily lives. This video will be all about life-changing technology. We will tell you about cochlear implants known as bionic ears. Want to know more? Let's get started. A cochlear implant is a tiny electronic gadget surgically implanted into a person's cochlea to improve their hearing. Sound impulses are sent directly to the brain from the implant, simulating the hearing nerve. Another name for cochlear implants is bionic ears. Cochlear implants may enable better speech comprehension in both calm and noisy contexts with the aid of therapy. A CI eliminates the need for acoustic hearing by directly simulating the auditory nerve with electricity. Cochlear implants enable children and adults to learn to interpret such signals as speech and sound through regular listening and oral training. There are two primary parts to the implant. The external component can either be worn behind the ear or attached to clothing, as in the case of small children. The sound processor, which is part of the system, consists of microphones, circuitry with DSP chips, a battery, and a coil that sends signals to the implant through the skin. A coil to receive alerts, circuitry, and an array of electrodes inserted inside the cochlea to simulate the auditory nerve to make up the interior component or the actual implant. General anesthesia is used during the surgical process. Most patients will have outpatient surgery and return home the same day with very low surgical risks. Dizziness, tinnitus, or facial nerve bruising are rare but possible side effects for some people. Speech perception with an implant had continuously improved since the 1970s and 1980s, when implants were first developed. By 2019, more than 200,000 Americans had been given a CI. After receiving a contemporary implant, many users improve their hearing and speech perception abilities, particularly when lip reading is added. One of the problems with these implants is that different implant users' hearing and speech comprehension abilities vary greatly after implantation. This variation is thought to be influenced by several variables, such as the age at which the implant was placed, the parental involvement and education level, the severity and cause of the hearing loss, the location of the implant with the cochlea, the general health of the cochlear nerve, and each person's capacity for relearning. Thousands of deaf people have received cochlear implants, enabling them to hear for the first time. Now, a person can have continuous hearing day and night thanks to a tiny microphone implanted in their ear. Since only a tiny portion of the current implants are inside the cochlea, they cannot be worn continuously. The power source, processors, and microphone are housed in a delicate external unit that must be attached to the ear and magnetically connected to the implant under the skin. Herman Jenkins, head of the Department of Otolaryngology at the University of Colorado, states, Patients cannot typically wear them when sleeping, in the shower, in the rain, or while they swim. According to Jenkins, a fully implanted system would do away with all that since you could wear it always. It is challenging to create an internal microphone for such a device. The Sydney, Australia-based company, Cochlear, conducted testing of a prototype implant in three patients four years ago, with unsatisfactory results. People valued the capacity to hear around the clock, he claims. However, because the microphone was located inside the ear, it would also be able to pick up a variety of biological noises, such as the sound of breathing, swallowing, hair rustling, and heartbeat. Therefore, Otologix, a Boulder, Colorado-based firm that was creating a fully implanted hearing aid with a novel microphone that integrates two sensors, was contacted by Cochlear. While the other is calibrated to pick up internal noises solely, the first is built to record all sounds. According to Jose Bedoya, the company's founder, the software may eliminate unpleasant psychological noises by comparing the two signals. Clinical studies show that the present cochlear implant technology significantly improves hearing for children and adults compared to any other technology before surgical implantation. Compared to the quickest conventional cochlear implant technology, the CII Bionic Ear hardware can transfer high-definition sound information to the hearing nerve up to a million times per second, giving deaf children and adults over 10 times more sound information. This broadband sound information can be filtered into 31 different audio processing channels, which is 30% more channels than traditional cochlear implants to represent minute features of sound in high quality. According to Dr. Gerald Lope, 
MD, professor of biomedical engineering at the University of Southern California and one of the original developers of cochlear implants. A quarter century of clinical research with auditory prosthesis clearly shows that delivering more sound information to the auditory nerve results in significantly better quality hearing and speech understanding for deaf children and adults. The Clarion CII Bionic Ears Electrical Architecture offers the flexibility necessary to put many fascinating developments from cochlear implant research into practice. The hearing health professionals will have a powerful tool to manage children and adults with severe to profound hearing loss thanks to its remarkable capacity to deliver the small details of sound in high resolution. Over the next 10 years, deafness will be handled around the globe like this, said Dr. Lope. The CII Bionic Ear represents a significant advance in implant technology. The CII gives the scientific community a wide range of new research opportunities that will encourage the creation of next-generation speech processors to enhance speech comprehension and sound quality for implant users. According to various studies, cochlear implants are helpful in several areas of quality of life including communication improvements and good benefits on social, emotional, psychological, and physical well-being. That's it for today, folks, and we hope you like the information. If you want to know more, subscribe to our channel. Also, ring the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new information. We're the Modern Day Geeks, and we will see you in our next video.